Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 16.1. Okay, so it says the angular velocity of the disk is defined by omega equals to 5t squared plus 2 in radians per second where t is in seconds. Determine the magnitudes of the velocity and acceleration of point A on the disk when t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. Alright, so what we're seeing here, well we have a disk, this disk is going at a velocity omega that is described by that equation and we just basically want to define what's the velocity of this single point a and what's its acceleration okay so like always let's just first start by writing out our givens so for givens well we're given that this velocity omega is going to this angular velocity is 5t squared plus 2 okay the units is going to be in radians per second and I'm also given that the time, I'm going to write it as t2, that I'm interested of is 0 0.5 seconds, okay? So, these are the two givens. Since we're starting chapter 16, well, we're utilizing this uh, angular velocity, angular uh, acceleration. However, there are like two uh, equations for this angular velocity of equations. One is with respect to lines or bodies. And the other one is with respect to points, okay? Since we're in this case interested about a point, well, we're utilizing the equations 16.a for the velocity of p, p meaning a point, and the acceleration of p, okay, which is the acceler tangential acceleration and the normal acceleration. Now, what we can see in order to find this velocity, in this case, we need omega, which we have, times the radius. Well, we have it in here, it's given. And for the acceleration, at least for the tangential, we need this alpha. Alpha is the acceleration, the angular acceleration of the disk. And for that reason, we're going to utilize this equation 16.2, which is the angular acceleration of this disk. Okay, so of the disk over here. And it's basically the derivative of omega with respect to time. Okay, so knowing that, um, basically, if I keep going for the normal acceleration, well, we got omega squared, which we have, and the radius which we already have as well. So uh, what we're going to do, well, we're going to start by solving for this acceleration, which is the derivative of omega. Well, omega is this equation. Okay, so our acceleration, angular acceleration is the derivative. Well, the derivative of 5t squared is just 10t. And this should be in units of radians per second squared. Okay, so now that we have the angular velocity and the angular acceleration, let's just evaluate them at the time that we're interested, so 0 0.5 seconds. So let's just start with the velocity, evaluate it at t2. Well, if we follow the equation, it will be 5 times 0 0.5 squared plus 2. And when we plug this into our calculator, let's see how much we get we get a total of 3.25 and this is in radians per second okay we're going to do the same thing with the acceleration alpha evaluated at um, t2 let's put this alpha a little bit better and the equation for alpha is just basically 10 times this t which is 0 0.5 seconds and when we plug that into our calculator, we of course we get a total of 5 and the units will be radians per second squared like any acceleration. So now we have the acceleration and we get the velocity. What we can do is start with the velocity of the point. So we're going to start at the velocity. So let's write it out. We're going to look for the velocity of my point A. And for this velocity, well, we're just going to follow that equation. B is going to be equal to omega. Well, omega is 3.25 multiplied by the radius. And if I scroll up a little bit over here, we got the 0 0.8 meters. So we got 0 0.8 meters. We plug this into our calculator and we get a total of 26 and this should be in meters per second, like our regular units for velocity, okay? Just don't get confused with the radiance in there. Then we're done with the velocity. What we need to find now is the acceleration. So I'm going to write acceleration of A. 
And for this one, well, we need to find this tangential and normal acceleration. So let's like as a first step. So let's go ahead and start with the tangential. The tangential acceleration is going to be alpha. Well, alpha is five multiplied by the radius. Radius is 0 0.8. And when we multiply these two guys together, we get a total of 4, and the units should be in meters per second squared. Okay? That's our tangential. Now, for our normal, we will have uh, omega squared, so 3.25 squared, multiplied by r, 0 0.8. And when we multiply these guys together, we will have a total of 8.45. So we got 8.45. And this is in meters per second square. All right. The last step in order to solve for the magnitude of the acceleration, which is basically what we're asking, is apply Pythagorean theorem since we have the uh, tangential and normal. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to represent the magnitude as these two bars next to my acceleration variable. So we, as I said before, Pythagorean theorem, meaning the square root of the tangential component is square plus the normal component is square. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will get a total of 9.35, if I round to two decimal places, meters per second square. Okay, and this will be our magnitude for our acceleration. And the 2.6 above will be our magnitude for our velocity. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.